Today, I will show you a way to set up your own Colab server and install Stable Diffusion to give you more control and privacy on your AI images. Fast and to the point. Stay tuned. Right, so today we're gonna to be using Google Colab. Uh, the prerequisite is that you have a Gmail account. So if you don't already have a Gmail account, go over and um, register and sign in. Once you've signed in, you can go to the uh, Colab uh, site. Um, all the links will be in the description um, for you to follow along. So once you're, you're in, click on the uh, Stable Diffusion link that's in the description, and it'll bring you to this page over here. It's a bunch of really cool people that have created uh, repositories uh, for simple use. All right, so once you've got this page open over here, first things first, you need to connect to a server. So click to connect. And what it will do now is it will allocate a server for your use where you will be running this code. As you can see over here, if you'd like to see a bit more information, just click on the button. But that's the intent for today. All right, so what we want to do right now is install the dependencies around about one and a half minutes. I found it closer to around four minutes, but that's okay. Um, let's click on this play button. If you want to see any more information, click on the code, but just click on the play button. You are free to run this. Um, it's just a warning. Click OK. All right, it'll spin on the left hand side and once completed, it'll show you a little tick mark. As you can see, it is busy doing the installation for you. So what we've got now is a little tick on the top left hand corner over here, which you can see, and it's all good. And what we can now do is click on run the app. So click on the little plus, or the, sorry, the play button. So once the software has installed, it will continue to run in the background. Keep that running, don't press stop, or don't switch off your server. All right, we can click on this link over here, which will take you to a website, or you could potentially run it in this um, image, or inside this embedded uh, version here. I don't recommend that. Let's click on this link over here, and open in the tab and it will now open up the Stable Diffusion um, web UI. All right, so pretty simple. Hopefully that wasn't too painful. All right, I'm gonna give you a bit of a starter prompt over here. So this will be again in the description. So let's paste the starter prompt. It's important to put in the negative prompt, especially with, mid, with uh, Stable Diffusion. Um, all right, so it comes up with some pretty weird stuff actually. All right, what you can do over here is set some um, of your parameters number of images, one or two or three or whatever, guidance, steps, width, and height. Um, I like to just set the height to 1024 by 768, and then ultimately you can put a seed to make it um, whatever you want to, to uh, generate the image from. All right, so let's click on generate, and let's see what it does. The reason I've shown you this method is because I have a... Um, I don't have a beefy computer, I don't have a GPU or a server that's um, located on my uh, on my end, so I needed a space to test this out to see if I wanted to make the investment. So um, this has now proven to me that the investment might, might be worthwhile, especially if it can generate images like this, which are a bit more sort of... Um, uh, not as not as politically correct or diplomatic, if you want to call it that. Um, and again, this is definitely the problem that I was trying to solve. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe and um, hit that thumbs up button. Thank you very much for watching and best of luck.